you've been asked to solve for x and you're dealing with logs so you're going to have to undo logs with exponentials but before we can do that we have to condense our log so we have log base 2 of 2x plus 2 in the numerator and because we're subtracting we have x squared minus 1 in the denominator and this equals 1. Now that we've condensed our log we can exponentiate both sides and you'll need to exponentiate both sides in order to get rid of your logs. So now we're looking at 2x plus 2 over x squared minus 1 equals 2. Now if you factor both numerator and denominator you can make this easy and cancel out but I've elected to show this as if you didn't see that. So we would cross multiply or multiply both sides by x squared minus 1 and get 2x plus 2 equals 2x squared minus 2. Remember we have to distribute the 2 to both terms. Well, I've got a quadratic so the only real way to solve it is to set it equal to 0. So 2x squared minus 2x subtracting 2 and another 2 would make 4 and I see that I can factor a 2 out of every term. So that makes things cleaner. As I go to factor this polynomial, I'm looking at x minus 2 and x plus 1, all times 2, which can never be 0, is 0. So the zeros that come out of this are 2 and negative 1. Now I better make sure to check both of those answers back in the original log and sure enough a negative one would be fine here because we'd square it actually it wouldn't be because we'd have negative one squared is one minus one is zero you can't take the log of a negative number and similarly here negative one times two is two plus two is also zero and you can't take the log of a negative one or of a zero because zero is not in the domain of the log so that one's extraneous our only answer is x equals 2.